Please, 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 what are you doing? Just trying to get some food, miss. What's the problem? Just trying to get some food. You don't have any really diseases you could be carrying right now? Diseases? Uh, I'm not aware. I'm not sick, so how could I be carrying any diseases? You don't have to be sick. For example, a virus like yellow fever can be in your salivary gum secreting of a person who has contracted yellow fever. Then you feed off of me, delivering the virus directly to my blood. Oh, golly. I had no idea. So you just get sick, but that's no big deal. I don't know why you're causing such a commotion. No big deal. People die all the time. Okay, okay, cool, you jets. How does this thing kill anybody? Well, my little bug-eyed friend, let me tell you. The single-stranded RNA virus goes into your body and starts replicating by tricking cells, mainly liver or also known as hepatic cells, to endocytose the virus by tricking the receptors to initiate the endocytosis. After that, the virus has entered the cell, is fused with the endosome, and then it's broken down. Broken down? Okay, well, then it sounds like you have nothing to worry about. Stop that! Now, that's where poop hits the window. Broken down means the more single-stranded RNA is changing the cell's DNA. Its genes are now free to be translated into proteins to make more of the virus, essentially causing more cells to become infected. That doesn't sound good. It sounds like these cells maybe won't function properly being infected, right? Right. The body will cause apoptosis or necrosis of the cells. And since they are your liver cells, your liver starts to break down since the immune system recognizes something is wrong with it. Jaundice is the main symptom of that because bilirubin starts to accumulate in your blood since your liver isn't filtering out well. And then, well, toxins stay there and you most likely die. Oh my. Sounds really terrible, but aren't there vaccines to help with that kind of thing? Well, yeah, they have one that's known as YF17D to prevent the infection. So you must have it, so then I can eat. Man, seriously, you gotta stop. I don't have it since we live in North America, and it's more prevalent in places like South America or parts of Africa. Yep, the vaccine helps those people by activating their multiple TLRs using a dead virus that works similar to how the live virus would. This causes an immune response and presents it to the T cells in your lymph nodes. That way your body can now recognize the virus faster if you ever do contract it. Yeah, that's exactly right. I thought you didn't know anything about this stuff. Well, I, uh, I knew most of it, but I was just hoping that you'd, uh, let me get a quick snack when you were done jabbering. Okay, fine. Bite you later, I guess. <laughs>